Welcome back to CodeCraft, where we master the coolest AI and data science tools and libraries. I'm Alistair Louise, and today we are diving deep into the fascinating world of anomaly detection using isolation forests. Let's get started. Anomaly detection is a crucial task in data science. Whether you're looking to detect fraud in financial transactions, identify network intrusions, or spot manufacturing defects, being able to identify outliers or anomalies is essential. So what exactly is an anomaly? Anomalies are data points that deviate significantly from the norm. They are few and different, making them easier to isolate. And that's where isolation forests comes in. Isolation forests operate on a simple yet powerful principle. Anomalies are few and different. Unlike other methods that profile normal data points, isolation forests explicitly isolate anomalies. It uses an ensemble of isolation trees or I-trees to partition the data. Each I-tree isolates data points by recursively splitting the data set based on randomly selected features and split values. Anomalies, being distinct, tend to require fewer splits to be isolated. This results in shorter path lengths in the tree, making them easier to identify. Let's get our hands dirty with some code. We'll start by doing some exploratory data analysis or EDA on a sample data set. And for this example, we are using a data set of salaries. To demonstrate anomaly detection using isolation forests, we first need a data set. We'll generate a synthetic data set of salaries with some anomalies. So let's dive into the code to create this data set. We start by importing the necessary libraries. We set a random seed for reproducibility. We then generate normal salary data using a normal distribution with a mean of $50,000 and a standard deviation of $15,000. To introduce anomalies, we add salaries that are significantly higher and lower than the normal range. We load the data set and take a peek at the first 10 rows. This data includes salaries of different professionals. As you can see, most salaries are around $50,000, but there are a few anomalies that stand out. This data set will be perfect for demonstrating how isolation forests can detect these outliers. A violin plot combines the features of a box plot and a density plot, giving us a comprehensive view of the data distribution. Now it's time to build our isolation forest model. We'll use the isolation forest class from scikit-learn. We set up our isolation forest with 100 estimators and fit it to our salary data. The contamination parameter is set to 0.1, indicating that we expect 10% of the data to be anomalies. Once our model is trained, we can use it to predict anomalies. The predict method assigns a score to each data point, where minus 1 indicates an anomaly. Here, we add a new column to our data frame to mark each point as anomaly or normal. Finally, let's visualize the results to see where the anomalies lie in our data. Using a scatter plot, we can clearly see the anomalies in red. This visual representation helps us quickly identify the outliers in our data. And that's a wrap. Today, we have covered the theory behind isolation forests, performed some exploratory data analysis, and detected anomalies in our data set using Python. If you want to dive deeper, check out the written blog linked down in the description for more resources and documentation on isolation forests. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have found this video helpful. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, keep coding and stay curious.